So, hello everybody, this is Teachers Denek, and I'm doing a spontaneous live stream here with Teacher Rod. Hi, Rod. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, how are you yourself? I am surprised because it was last minute. <laughs> there was yeah. a change of plans, yeah. Yeah, I mean, nobody really expect expected this to happen. Yeah. It's, it has come out of the blue. Yes. And, and uh, well... Uh, we are going to talk about football today because you you told me that you don't know much about it. Almost anything. And, <laughs> and you would like to improve your knowledge of it. Yes. So, <laughs> so that's what we are here for. I'll do my best, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> so, um, ah, you're gone. And I'm alone. <laughs> and I thought I would talk to uh my guest but i think something went wrong but hopefully he will be back soon anyway hi charles good to have you here um so i'm waiting for my guest teacher rod if you guys don't know who he is um he's his name is uh rod rodrigo he's from brazil and he has got he's an english teacher and he's got a fantastic youtube channel um which is called Rod the English Teacher, I believe. Problem, I'm back. You're black. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm black. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a blackout. You're back. Yeah, now. there were there was a problem with uh Firefox, but I'm back now. Oh, Firefox. Good old Firefox. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think you managed to outfox the Firefox now and uh, I did you're ready to, to talk to me about football. So yeah, so um so how come you don't know much about football in, in the first place? I don't get it. You're from Brazil. <laughs> yeah, but uh, <laughs> as a, I don't know if, if as a disabled person, I never had um, the idea of learning about football or watching yeah. it, you know. So actually, I only watch when Brazil is playing the World Cup. So And I don't so have you much... Do uh, watch football a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But very little, every four years. <laughs> Maybe uh, you're just being maybe you're just being a bit humble. Maybe you know yeah, everything yeah, about yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it yeah, surprised yeah. us all here. Yeah, so, yeah. So you had this idea actually that we would do mm -hmm. this. And yes. You said to me that I should I should prepare some props to teach you yeah. what football is. Yeah. And I'm I'm going to test you. Yeah? I'm going to test okay. test what you know about football then. So okay. I've got, I've got this here, first of all. So do you have you seen these before? <laughs> well, this is a ball, a ball I know, a ball I can say that I know, you know. So <laughs> these are two balls, in fact. Yeah, I don't know how many balls can... yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There's an there's an or orange ball, which yes. is usually used when you play in winter because mm -hmm. you can see it better. Maybe there's there's snow on yes. the pitch, or mm -hmm. I don't know, but the pitch is you know, it's a bit like you, it's not very green or something, or yes. there's fog, or there's fog. You can play uh -huh. in fog as well. <laughs> and then in that case, or even if it's getting kind of getting dark, in that in that case, this mm -hmm. color of the ball is quite useful. It comes in handy. I didn't have this information. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important thing about football, yes, by the way. Yes, yes. If you didn't know, uh, then I have this one. It's it's kind of flat though. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's flat, so you can't we can't really play well with this. You, you but, have to pump air inside there. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so this won't work. This but second it, one is the one that we use in Brazil, I suppose, mostly because we don't use this this orange one, you know. So okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. So a black and white one. So yeah, it's it's a ball or a yeah. football. You can call it yeah. a football yeah. as well. Yeah, but most people refer to it just mm -hmm. a ball, obviously. Yep. And the word in Portuguese is almost the same because we say futebol. Oh, really? Futebol. Futebol. Futebol, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's it's very similar in most languages. Yeah. Um, I think in German they say fußball, right? Yeah. Fußball. Yeah, I saw Martin saying yesterday yeah, the Martin, word. Yeah. My yeah. student uh, yeah. from Germany. Uh, mm -hmm. in, my language, in my first language we would say football. Mm -hmm. So it's, all, it's almost the same. However... In the United States, for some reason, they call it soccer. Soccer, yes. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with them? 
<laughs> I learned that since I was little, that soccer was Brazilian soccer, you know, the game well, that we used to play, you know. Well, I guess Brazilian students or Brazilian learners Mm -hmm. have a lot of exposure to American English more than to yeah. British English. Am yeah. I right? Yes, totally. Because of uh, the location. They, yeah. yeah, because of the location in America. It's like American English is to Brazilian Portuguese and Portuguese yeah. Portuguese is to British English. That's right. the main reason, you know, so. Got it, got it. So obviously everybody, um, well, not everybody, but most people that love football have a team they support, a team they follow. Can you guess mm -hmm. what my can you guess what my team is? I don't have a clue. <laughs> well, the clue is on my head. <laughs> the clue is on my head. <laughs> But I don't even know the symbol. <laughs> what Arsenal. All right. I got you now. <laughs> I support Arsenal, which is a Premier League team. Okay. Yeah? I got you now. And this is this is the Arsenal logo, yeah. And right mm. now I'm wearing um, a winter a winter cap, an Arsenal winter cap or mm -hmm. a winter hat or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I'm wearing it is not because I tend to wear cap winter caps in my house, mm -hmm. in my room where it's about 21 degrees Celsius. No, mm -hmm. that would be ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wearing it for this video. <laughs> But when I go outside, mm -hmm. it's It's quite useful because, as we know, winter is coming here in the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Brazil, yes. you, you are about to have summer. In Brazil, yeah, about. It's it's uh, insanely hot here already. So yesterday it was 42 degrees in the afternoon. Oh, really? So it's That's insane already. So I can't imagine wearing this cap in, yeah. those, in those conditions. It's really, really hot here. So Nice one. Yeah. And then... We've got these. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I know what they are, but um, in English it might be cleats. The name of these? Well, I just call them boots. Okay, boots. Boots or shoes. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. most people in most people would call them boots. I think uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, football boots, football shoes, or just boots, and. Well, the main thing about them, obviously, they should be they, mm -hmm. they could be made made from different materials, but uh, the best ones are made of leather, yeah, yeah. leather, because mm -hmm. um, then they fit your feet mm -hmm. well and you feel comfortable in them. Uh, and then at the bottom here, on the sole, you've got mm -hmm. studs, studs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, there are different different kind of boots. As well, so you might have like studs that you have to screw in, mm -hmm. and they are often made of made from metal, and those are quite tricky when they land on your on your feet with somebody. Okay, challenges you, and I think I have to subscribe myself to sometimes. your course. I think I have to subscribe myself to your course English with football because I don't. I, I have don't to have learn a, about it. I don't uh, have an English English with football course yet, Rod. Yeah, but you have to create one only for me. I, I will. Think. I will at some point. I will at some point. <laughs> right now, I just teach. When I okay. teach my private students, we just we just talk about football, yeah. the Premier League, and <laughs> and yes. I teach them vocabulary in the process and all those kind of things. But there's no course. There's no course like a group course or yeah, uh, anything like I that. Know. Not yet. Not yet. I know. I can tell you that my father is crazy about football. Oh, oh really? My father ha is a supporter of a team in Brazil called Corinthians. He's crazy oh, really? about this, okay. uh, this okay. Okay. team, you know. So. Is this But is I like Neymar, though. I like Neymar, though. I Neymar. Think he's, a, he's a great guy. I don't like him so much. I love okay. Brazilian players. Don't uh -huh. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I love them. Of course. But not Neymar. Because mm -hmm. I feel like Neymar dives too much. Dive, <laughs> if diving yeah. means if yeah. you if you dive, it means you, pre mm -hmm. you pretend to be injured. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. I, I, I yeah. hate this. I hate this aspect uh -huh. of his of his game. He is very mm -hmm. talented. Absolutely. Yes. He has an, an amazing amount of talent in mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. yeah? This is undeniable. 
Yes. But this 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 kind of feature mm -hmm. of his game is just something I cannot stand. And I think I'm not alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. From the old Brazilian players, who do you like? Uh, well, obviously, like back in the day when I was a young boy, I used to admire players like Bebeto and okay. Romario and uh, mm -hmm. Roberto Carlos. Oh my God, mm -hmm. what a player he was. Um, and then there was this Hulk here, yeah, Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love this. I we, love say, we say Hulk in Portuguese. Mm, Hulk. But I, I Hulk. call him Hulk yeah. because it's, yeah. it's like the super like the yeah, superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, so you like the the team that won the 1994 World Cup in the US? Because I remember I used to collect like uh, cards, Panini cards, uh -huh. and, and these were one of the most valuable uh -huh. cards with these players as well. Uh -huh. And obviously now these uh, Bra Brazil have always had fantastic mm -hmm. players. Obviously Pele is maybe arguably the most yes most famous Brazilian player, uh, Pele. Yes, but these days, these days, well, does David Luiz still play? David Luiz, mm -hmm. he, he was in Arsenal. Well, then we have got a player called Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel is an Arsenal defender, and then there mm -hmm. is also Gabriel Martinelli. Mm -hmm. And th these are Brazilian players. Okay, yeah, and David Arsenal. Luiz is the one who has a very nice big hair, right? Exactly. Ah, <laughs> I know who he is. <laughs> no, he's also a, a relatively good player. I quite like mm -hmm. him. He, mm -hmm. he played he played uh, yeah. a long time for Chelsea. Um, I think he's kind of a Chelsea legend, you mm -hmm. could say. Mm -hmm. But he, he was not too bad in Arsenal either. I was a bit sad to see him go, actually. So mm -hmm. yeah, David, David Luiz, yeah. And I'm sure yeah. I'm sure I'm forgetting about a lot of a lot of good Brazilian players. Romario. 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 He doesn't play anymore, but he was, well, I don't know. I can't, I can't say anything because I don't know much. So, but he was very famous though. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously you guys are like one of the best teams, one of the best teams in the world. Yeah. One it's, thing it's that I know for in Brazil, right? Yeah. 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 One thing that I know for sure is that we never missed a world cup. Brazil has surprised. gone to all of them. You know, I'm not so. surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Is it the same for Argentina, or did they miss one at least? I don't know. I don't I mean, have best, this information. The, the two best South American teams are obviously mm -hmm. Argentina and Brazil, mm -hmm. without without a doubt. Yes. Yeah? The yes. famous, I know the famous beach, Copa Copacabana, as well, right? Mm -hmm. in your, in, is it in mm -hmm. Rio de Janeiro? Yes, it's in Rio, yeah. Copacabana Beach. It's when you come beach. down, I'm gonna take you there. <laughs> nice. Please make sure it's in uh, summer, not winter. Of course, of course, of course. I want, I want to take a swim while I'm of there. Of course, of course. Okay. Well, I've got more stuff here. So we've dealt with the boots. Yeah. And, and then I've got these. Do you know what they are? My God, no. These <laughs> not are... even, not even in Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> These I actually don't know in my language too. I, okay. I, I do. I've just remembered. Yeah, okay. shin pads. Shin okay. pads. Okay. So, now, now I remember. When you said the name in English, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Shin so pads. So yes. it's this kind of a protective protective equipment. Um, mm -hmm. It's usually made yeah. of rubber or plastic, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's it's material that you wear inside. Yeah. Inside a sock. Inside your sock. And yes. it protects your lower part, mm -hmm. your lower legs, yeah? The lower part mm -hmm. of your leg. Yeah. Um, it it kind of covers your ankle here as well. I think there's something made of plastic. But to be honest, it's I don't think it's that effective when it comes to, you know, mm -hmm. protecting your ankles. Because it can't yeah. be really... It has to stay loose. Mm -hmm. It has to stay loose, your ankle. Otherwise, you won't be able to... Uh, um twist your well twist your, i mean as in you need to move you need to move you need to be able to move your feet mm -hmm. to, to pass the ball and shoot yeah. yes so this is quite important you don't usually wear it in in training sessions i've never mm -hmm. worn it in training mm -hmm. sessions mm -hmm. but you do wear it during the matches because the, okay. the, games, the, the games become more aggressive okay um, 
And then I've got these. Uh, da -da. Here we go. This one I know, a jersey. Yeah. At so least one, more, at least one. <laughs> there are more ways you could call this. So jersey, okay. jersey, yeah. But I think most people in the UK would call it just a shirt. This, mm -hmm. is, an, uh, this is an Arsenal shirt. It's not really yeah, a shirt, yeah. is it? It's more like a yeah. T-shirt, really. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. But in, it's referred to as shirt. In Brazil, we say shirt as well. Oh, really? As a, okay. We don't, we don't, we don't use the word jersey. We say shirt. Yeah. Like so the. Mm -hmm. I see. So obviously, this is an Arsenal shirt, right? It's yeah. red. Mm -hmm. And I've got more shirts here. Mm. This is the Czech Republic shirt, the shirt of our oh. national team. Mm -hmm. But it's quite old, as you can mm -hmm. see. The logo, the logo is like, yeah, it's worn out. You can't really see what's yeah. there. Yeah. And there's one more here. This one actually, I got this one from Vladimir Schmitzer, <laughs> who wow. used to play, who used to play for the Czech Republic, a very good player. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was at one of, I think it was a friendly game. And then after, at the end of the match. Uh, mm -hmm. well, after the match ended, he would throw it into the crowd, you know, and, you got and it. I, I was the lucky person who caught it. Wow. Yeah. And then this, <laughs> I don't know how relevant this is, but can you see this? <laughs> <laughs> oh do you know what this, do you know what this is? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> this <laughs> is, um. This is something uh, you would use before the match. Okay. It's a sports balm. It's like a okay. massage, it's like a massage lotion thing <laughs> that that you would rub into the skin, mm -hmm. uh, your muscles, your mm -hmm. muscles usually the bigger muscles like your mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. or, um, mm -hmm. And this this will sort of, I think it will help you warm up. Yes, um, better, and mm -hmm. then you are less like I. I, ha I mm -hmm. guess you are less likely to yeah get, to get a muscle hurt. a muscle injury. I think yeah. that's what it's uh -huh. used for. Yes, and then I've got this. I've got this as well. This is a how do you call that? A flag? No, no. This is a towel actually. It's a a towel. towel, yeah. Yeah, that's what you use. Um, yeah. I'm sure you use it yourself in the shower. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. 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 So we would use it in the showers after the yeah. match, obviously. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, because football players they sweat a lot, you know, when they mm -hmm. play. So it's necessary to take a shower after mm -hmm. the game. Mm -hmm. Then I've, 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 I'm running out of, I'm running out of my props. Oh, yeah. I've got this as well. This one I know as well. A whistle. It's a whistle. Yeah. So um. In, it's in football, going to be like that match Brazil and Germany, right? Which was seven to one. Yeah, the whistle I'm gonna was lose. blown a lot. In I'm gonna match. I'm gonna fail miserably today. <laughs> seven to one. It's gonna be. Oh, today. you should have. You shouldn't have mentioned it. Now it's quite embarrassing for Brazil that, that match. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. It was very very embarrassing. Yeah, so um, yeah. this is a whistle. This is what a referee yeah. blows. Yeah. When when uh, he or she mm. needs to stop the match. Yes. Right, so they they would blow the whistle. For example, if there is a foul yeah. or or when they need to, um, yes, you know, make a decision about a penalty or when they mm. when they start when the game starts, yes, or when it finishes, or mm -hmm. when there's when there's the half time, mm -hmm. yeah, or or what else? Yeah, I think that's more or less it. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. And the last thing so, I have here is this, and I—it's ridiculous, I know, but <laughs> I just want to ask you: Do you do you do you think when when the when the pandemic was raging here the mm, most, do you think mm -hmm. football players had to wear a mask? I think that once they're tested and it's negative, I don't think it's uh, something mandatory. But I think the people who are watching the matches, they should be. 100% of the time messed up, you know, so that's what I think because it's a it's a it's a it's a complicated situation. It's very tricky uh, yeah. in Brazil. A lot of people are not uh, 
getting vaccinated, uh, but I don't know how it's going to be. Uh, things are getting better. But in Europe, as I could see with Martin two days ago, things are not so great. No, and it worries reason, me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the reason I'm asking you is because you never really had to wear a mask during a football match, or as far as I know. Okay. However, however, um, mm -hmm. if you were on the bench, mm -hmm. the players yeah. had to wear it on the mm -hmm. bench. I don't think they yeah. have to anymore. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But it, this rule might still be implemented yeah. again. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But okay. obviously, you're right. The defense had to wear it at some point as yeah. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, they, I think, kind of have to wear it again now. Mm -hmm. I, I know that. I are. know that here everybody's tested before a game. Now you can go to the stadium to watch the games, yeah. but you have to show your vaccine card, and yeah. also you have to get tested if you're not vaccinated or whatever. You know. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry like for. For sorry for putting downer on things and no no, this, no 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 ending this no. on the coronavirus note. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. I just thought it would be so funny. I I was like looking for all the props here. Yeah? Like where do we're, I? We're gonna we're gonna where remember this shoes? forever. We're gonna remember this forever. And you know? I was like, where is my ball? Where are my shoes? And I was yeah. trying to collect yeah. all this stuff to get yeah. ready for this YouTube yeah. live. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, there's a mask here. Should I bring that too? I'm like. Okay, why not? I'll just talk about. Yeah, but about... I told you I would fail miserably because <laughs> I don't know almost anything about about football. So I was this going was to say soccer, and you're gonna get mad at me. But Rod, Rod this was yeah. not an English. This was not an English exam or yeah, an exam yeah. for English teachers or yeah, anything like that. This was just um, a joke. It was just yeah. a funny, funny yeah. video, funny yeah. spontaneous video that we yeah. that we have recorded. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here. I hope people liked it. I yeah. like to be playful, and you like to be playful as well. And I thought it would be a great idea. And here we are. No, I think it's it's a, it's so, a cool idea. But now we yeah. are we are done. I think it's yeah. that's it. So if you guys like the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, check teach um, Rod, the English teacher YouTube channel as well. And check please subscribe out. to us. Check it out. Yeah. Okay. Thank right, you, guys. my friend. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. See you. See you.